Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. No, this is not going to be a review of you know some very old flashes. This one is the AD200 Pro with the H200R head and this one is the V1. No, no, we are not going to be reviewing this again, but we're going to see an interesting accessory that to a very cost efficient accessory using which you can actually transform these uh, flashes and get more uh, interesting use cases out of it. Okay, that's right. Perfect timing. <laughs> the AKR1. Well, this very very compact uh, what do you do let's open it and see what is uh, inside since it's going to magically transform these uh, uh, flashes if you want to have some magic again very very interesting <laughs> fantastic uh, there is very interesting bounce card we have a diffuser, we have a color filter and Godox have provided a few extra color correction filters too and a snoot, a collapsible baby snoot, very interesting one, a single honeycomb and a dome, right? And also a barn door. Okay, everything goes very well into this tiny, but a solid carry case to put everything into it, put this into your bag and you're ready to go. Now, interestingly, all these accessories have magnets. So there are no threads. You don't need to, you know, struggle with any contact points. That's it. You're ready to go. Here's another one. That's it, you're ready to go. So the interesting thing is, this can be used alone or in combination. So here, so you have the diffuser plus the honeycomb. I can also add barn door over it as well. So very easy to use. What are we going to do? We're going to see a real use cases of all these accessories. Nothing is better than actually seeing it. Let's go. So we are ready for the demonstration, okay? Everything that was in the box is ready here. The bounce card, the dome, the diffuser, honeycomb, and uh, the bondos and the mini snoot. The first three actually helps you to diffuse and spread the light. And the next three allows you to, or enables you to control and narrow the beam down. Okay, so for example, we're going to use the V1. If you use, let's say, the uh, AD200 or the 200 Pro with the H200R head, the effect is going to be the same, except that the AD200 Pro and the AD200 both are off camera flashes. So you can get the same effect off the camera. You already know what on camera flash and off camera flashes are, okay? So I'm gonna just demonstrate, you will be able to replicate the same effect either from the camera's point of view or from the point of view of the flash, you can create similar effects. And for demonstration, we have our resident model, Jagdish. All right, Jagdish. Okay, and let me see. All right, as you can expect, hard hot spots on his face it is lesser than a typical let's say the v865 right yeah. it's less than that because of its round uh, head but let's see with the uh, bounce card so very simple to m use it just that's it you know tilt it up and same position same everything and there you go. Fantastic. No wonder this is the most used accessory for a wedding and event photographer. These days, it's really rare to see anyone using the bare flash uh, without the help of a bounce card. The next accessory is the diffusion dome. As usual, very easy to 
take a shot. You already saw how the bear flash looks like, right? Let me shoot it with the diffusion dome. It is slightly different from the uh, bounce card, a little harder than the bounce card, uh, but you know, you can decide to use it when you want diffusion, but you want more power. Because the moment you bounce it, right, uh, you will lose considerable amount of power, right? But when you do this, put a, a you know, diffusion dome, you will get the diffusion. It'll be a little more sharper, uh, harder than the bounce card, but you will get more power. The next one is the diffusion plate or the filter. Clicks in place and uh, very nice. It will cast a little shadow behind because this is going to be a little more, uh, you know, harder, but yet softer than the uh, direct flash and it will create a little bit of shadow in the backdrop. So these are the decisions that you have to take depending on the situation. As they say, you have to think on your toes. When you are on a shoot, on a location, you have to make that quick decisions depending on the kind of shot uh, that you want to create. Okay, let's move on. Let's now move on to a different type of, uh, uh, you know, accessory. It's called the honeycomb because of the shape of the element inside. All right, there you go. That's your uh, honeycomb in place. Obviously, this is going to narrow the beam down and to become <laughs> really nice. You can actually see a little bit of vignetting at the edges. The next accessory is the barn door. Basically allows you to control the beam of light. I'm going to kind of make a very small window, right? And let me take a shot. There you go. You can actually see the edges are really vignetting. And of course, let's take a look at what this guy is going to say. Now, there are no magnets on this uh, accessory, which is uh, the mini snoot, uh, but he, this guy is going to really, really narrow down. So you can get similar uh, effect in combination with the honeycomb and the barn door. But if you don't want to have, you know, so many accessories on your flash, you can use just this. The next accessory is the filter. Well, this is uh, a filter which can be used for two purposes. You can use it to add color or fool around with color, or you can add it purposely to do a color correction on your scene, for which you need to know what is the color of your light that you're working with and what is the compensation filter that you're going to add with it. I'm just going to plain demonstrate how a white light can be converted into warm light by adding this filter on top. Now, this is a warm light because the filter is right in front of the naked flash. Uh, for this color filter, you have multiple choices. You have two different types of uh, warm, so they call it the full CT, half CT and the quarter CT, which basically is used to correct the blueness of the light. Uh, they have also given you two clear uh, filters you can cut and add, probably add your own color filter onto it and use this as a base to mount on. And you have a kind of a, you know, there's a kind of a blue that you will find uh, uh, in, uh, let's say, fluorescent lamps. So this is a fluorescent lamp green. Okay, let's see how you can use this AKR1 when you have uh, more than one flashes. Well, I think the combinations or the effects that you can create using the AKR1 with one flash, two flashes, or even three or four flashes are only limited by your imagination. Of course, you probably will require more than one set of AKR1s. Since they are not very expensive, you can actually afford to have more than one in your kit. Uh, well, I seriously suggest going that route as well. So 
very simple, very easy to use. The biggest thing is the learning curve is very short. So if you like this video, stay tuned. There is another video coming very soon, which will tell you about lighting techniques using very affordable lighting tools. Bye for now.